Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beijing City Guide. So I've been living in Beijing for three years and one of my favorite things about the city is the food that you can find here. So you'll have traditional Chinese dishes, of course, and food from all the provinces around China, but you can also find many international and Western options. Thinking about the food in Beijing made me want to try a challenge. I want to challenge myself to spend 100 RMB on food today, which is about 15 US dollars. With Chinese food, this is actually pretty doable, but I want to try to mix in some Western things as well and see if I can get a mix of international and Chinese food because that's what Beijing is all about. Let's try this. So to start my food day challenge, I just got a jam bing. It was seven kwai, which starts me out pretty dang good. This is a great breakfast food to start your day in China. It's quick, cheap, and you can take it on the go as you're walking down the street. Mmm, roll it up. One of the best places to go looking for food in Beijing is in the hutongs. You can find all kinds of street snacks, milk tea, all kinds of different noodle shops. It's a great place to experience all the different flavors of Beijing and find food for my food challenge today. I've been walking around Beijing for the morning time, enjoying the beautiful day. Now it's time to find some lunch to eat. some delicious jajangmian noodles. This is a very classic traditional Beijing noodle dish to try here. This is not like the cheapest version I've found of these noodles. Usually you can get them a little bit cheaper at some other places, but it was very convenient and easy to find this where I was walking in a gray area. So I'm going to dig in and enjoy these. So I've stopped for a milk tea. Milk tea is quite a popular drink to have here in China. You can find milk tea shops everywhere. I just spent 10 kwai on this milk tea from Coco. Oh my gosh, they have these really nice dessert churros here and they look and smell so good, but they're like 38 kwai to buy and that would completely take me out of my budget. So I'm gonna pass on those today. It's been a great day around Beijing, seeing the hutongs, looking at lots of different fruits and snacks to try. I'm gonna go find some dinner to eat now. I got a Coke while I'm waiting for my food. Just too quiet, very cheap. Mm -hmm. 
So I just got my food, I got some pasta, Caesar salad, and the best thing is I stayed right under my budget and I didn't spend anything more than 100 quai today. Just finished my food. I'm feeling full, happy. What a great day seeing a lot of the food that Beijing has to offer. There's such a big variety that you can find here depending on how much you want to pay and your price range and the kind of food you're looking for. You can find anything from Western to Chinese, uh, Thai, Japanese, all kinds of food. Uh, and it's been really fun to see what I could do for 100 RMB today. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my 100 RMB food challenge. What other kind of challenges or food would you like to see me try? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Beijing City Guide. Bye!